what are the layout of the distribution system so let's find out Okay, the layout of the distribution system is divided into three, just like I mentioned just now, and they are branching system and grid systems and also ring and circle system. Right, so what is branching system? So let's have a look on the branching system. It looks like this. Okay, by imagining that you have already do your water treatment plant here, you know, water intake and then the aeration up to the disinfection okay you have already add your chlorine so water is being distributed so it will go through the main pipe so i label it as a main pipe here and then you start do uh, you start making a new pipes okay so pipes to connect from one village to another village from one township to another township okay let's say this is town b and this one is town a so let's say if you have another township, uh, they just put another side pipe to connect water from the main pipe to town C, for instance. Okay, so this is a very easy system to design. Just, let's say you have another new township or new village, so just put another uh, sub pipe connecting from there. Okay, so very easy and very cheap. But the problem with this. Uh, design it is not effective what do i mean by not effective okay let's see uh this um sub pipe is broken that means no water will be flowing to town b and town a so these uh people living in this area b and a they will not be obtaining water from the main pipe and they will start complaining about uh the water problems, you know, perhaps calling a TV station, complain about their, their, uh, they don't have water or anything like that. So that's very difficult. Okay, that's the problem with the branching. Okay. And also, let's say if they, may, they want to make a new township, let's say town E over there, okay, they will probably just make a new sub uh, pipe from A connecting to town E. Let's say it's over here. Okay. As, uh, if you can imagine that the town at E, okay, town E here, will be obtaining very small amount of water. The pressure will be very small there and they probably be obtaining very little water, if you like. Uh, let's say we start our day in the morning. Okay, everybody take shower, okay, take shower here and take shower there. So people at E, imagining that you can imagine E town over here, okay, they will not be obtaining very much water because of uh, the water, most of the water has been used by B and A, okay, so they will be obtaining very, very little water. So they don't like that. That is the problem because um, the water pressure, okay, is very small at the end of the, uh, the sub pipe. And another thing that I would like to mention on the problem of uh, the branching system uh, we will be having stagnant water at the end okay at the end of the branch it could be there or it could be there if your branch uh, stop here then me that means uh there's stagnant water over here and there are some problems uh, that can be connected with the stagnant water by the ph is high sometimes it's actually occurring in some part of joho okay? people complain on the why their ph is so high sometimes get uh their pH can reach at pH 9, for instance. So what is the problem? So after we do some uh, investigation, we find out that the piping system are very old, so all the calcium carbonate has probably uh, get diluted in the water. Okay, the uh, calcium carbonate is in the piping system, okay? It's get diluted in the water, okay, reacting with the, uh, with the piping materials and then making the, water, the pH of the water be to become very, very high. That is the problem with the branching system. It's basically the branching system. So we would like to improve on our uh, system. So we, ha we have grid system. Okay, so the second one is the grid system. So how does it look like? It is like this. Okay, do you have, do you have any question for the, time, for the time being? No. No, okay, that's great, okay. So for the grid system, the main pipes is in the middle, but now the sub pipe is in the grid system. 
So this is a very structured system. Definitely, this is more expensive, okay? Because you have to be, uh, you know, very properly designed. And then they are very effective during maintenance works. What do I mean by that? Let's say you have a broken pipe over there, or perhaps they want to do cleaning for the piping system, okay? Broken pipe. Imagining it's broken pipe over there. Okay? If for the branching system, it may not get water, but this time around, it will be able to get to obtain your water because they have there is a flow from this side or from this sub pipe okay and also b may be able to get water also because there is a flow from this sub pipe and from this sub pipe so very structured nonetheless it is expensive but it's very good for maintenance work so you don't really have problems of stagnant water because water are always moving okay from every directions in the grid the design itself is very complex so this is the grid system you'll be able to see the system at a very uh it's a new at the new township perhaps at in uh whereby they have a modern water treatment plant so the engineer may be able to design a proper grid system for their water uh distribution system so this is the grid system so can I move on to the, the last part of the layout of the water distribution? Okay. Good. Okay, so the last part, we call it as the ring system. It's basically like the grid system. Okay. But for this ring system, we put the main pipes outside. Okay. Instead of, uh, if you remember for the uh, grid system, the main pipe is in the middle. So you can add another uh, sub pipes. Okay, sub pipes. For the second, uh, this is the first grid, let's see. So you can do another sub pipe for the second grid. And then for the third grid, you can see as you make a, a new sub pipe, it's going to get further and further from the main pipe. From the main pipe. So when you get further from the main pipe, you may be obtaining. Uh, very small pressure of water, so it's probably not that good. But in order for us to improve this grid system, we design, or there is another design, we call it as ring and circle system, whereby the main pipe is actually the, the outer part. Okay? So, so the, the grid is actually inside it. So this is what we call as ring system, more effective, no problem for maintaining. Definitely, it is very expensive as well. So those are the three layout system. The first one is the branching, very easy to design, very cheap, but a lot of problems. Second one is the grid system. And the third one is the ring system.